Did you know that many parts of King County flood every year? Most floods happen from November through February during heavy rainfall or when the snow in the mountains melts quickly and the rivers rise. Sometimes flooding can be mild, but other times floods can be very dangerous. So it's important to be prepared and be safe, and here's how. First, make an emergency plan. If you live, work, or go to school in a floodplain, find the evacuation routes to and from those locations. Pick a place you and your family will meet and a place where you might stay if you're unable to get back to your home. Choose a friend or family member living outside the area that you and your family can call for information if there is a local emergency. Keep important documents and items dry and safe by storing them in waterproof containers and high above flood levels. Stay informed. Monitor local radio and television stations for emergency information and find out if there's an emergency network set up for your community to share information by phone or the internet, such as text messaging, Twitter, or Facebook. Do not drive or walk through standing or moving floodwaters. This is the leading cause of flood-related death. In a flood, you may be unable to see hazards beneath the water, such as washed out roads or electrical power lines that have fallen. So if the road is closed, be safe and stay out. After a flood, keep out of the floodwaters, especially children and pets, since the water may be contaminated. Prevent carbon monoxide poisoning. Carbon monoxide is a gas that is produced whenever any fuel, such as gas, oil, kerosene, wood, or charcoal, is burned. It cannot be seen or smelled, and it can kill people or animals in minutes. So never burn charcoal or use gasoline or kerosene powered equipment indoors. And do not use a gas oven to heat your home. Keep basic emergency supplies where you live or in your car.
such as a radio and batteries, a whistle, a flashlight and batteries, some warm clothing, shoes and blankets, food and water, and first aid supplies such as sterile bandages and wipes, scissors, tweezers, a thermometer, and basic medicines. For help with disaster preparedness and response, please call the American Red Cross. They serve King and Kitsap counties. It's area code 206-323-2345. To find out if you live in a King County floodplain or for King County flooding information, interpreter services are available.